and they sit down to wake up the dog because the dog is very old. Now, this dog on the ninth, that means about six days ago, came in with a very large swelling. It was so large, it was so large the whole thing was swollen. You can see the loose skin. Okay, so that day, I did the punch, a Babsi punch, uh, two areas, put the punch in, uh, that's why so there are two holes here, to take a sample of the tissue, uh, to send to the lab for histology to check whether it's cancerous or not. And uh, after they give uh, anti-inflammatory antibiotics and the drip, now today, as you can see, there's still the loose skin. There's a very small swelling. This swelling is so small, that you practically can't feel it. But on, on that day, uh, it was from here to, to you hold the hold dog. Uh. It was from here to here. And it was a very big one, very painful. The dog couldn't breathe. So I thought it was, uh, it opened the mouth. I thought it was the, the infection coming from the mouth. As you can see, the teeth are in bad shape. This is a 14 year old dog. But now the owner says, the ear. Owner says this dog actually had ear infection for six months and they couldn't cure it even with the the vet gave them some uh, antibiotics for the ears. So today I seated the dog and uh, irrigate the ears to flush out all the debris and the bacteria. Of course today it's not smelly because the dog had been on antibiotics for six, six days. Overall uh, this dog is very old. So, even though the sedation is so little, he is already a knockout. Huh? But uh, I give an antecedent, he should wake up already. Okay, so. But the owner today, he, was, he, he came there, he asked whether he can extract the teeth or not. Yeah, no, not today because there's still some pain there. I give another week of antibiotic first.